Yes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the, the awesome power that AI gives governments and other concentrations of power over the population is a concern, particularly in the United States, where we have a Bill of Rights. And it seems to me it would be important, and I never hear it raised, to put in some guardrails to protect the average powerless person against surveillance or having his rights taken away in effect. 100%. Or, it's just too easy to extract compliance from people with technology this powerful. There's a lot of disruption because of the elimination of jobs, particularly low-end jobs, but not only low-end jobs like lawyers and stuff, the, the true revolutionaries in any society. And then the technology itself is used to keep the population under control through repression. Like, I don't think that's a crazy scenario yeah. at all. That is the big, yeah, big So I think Tucker is right that there is a real risk that AI is used by future governments or the deep state, basically, to surveil us, to censor us, and even potentially to brainwash us, because it is really good for that. And then what comes with that is a lack of privacy, a total loss of privacy, and then a push towards censorship. So as these AIs become more powerful, we have to marry it with a set of technologies that can preserve privacy and preserve access to monetary resources. 